Hey guys, it's Tokyo Rob here. I wanted to show you how to install Citron or any other emulator really on Android for Emulation Station. Now, I've already done a video on how to do it on Windows. It is pretty in depth and it should work with no issues whatsoever. So, if you want to go check out how to do it on Windows, you can look at my previous video and that'll help you out how to do it. I also wanted to do one for Android because I did try to do a video for Android and maybe it worked, maybe it didn't. This is probably the easiest way that I'm going to show you. Okay, let's say we're going to do an example here. We're going to, this is my Android right here, I can, I can control it. Um, let's say we want it to download Citron. So we would go download the latest version. You would then look for, uh, we can zoom in a little bit, you would then download the Canary um, APK release or the Optimize. I don't know which one, but you know, these emulators, you play around with them, you see which one works the best. Probably just download the first one and see, uh, that would be your app APK. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to go and install an APK on your Android device. You can go look at another video. I'm assuming you know how to do basic things with Android. If you're going through this so you've downloaded your APK you're gonna throw it on your Android phone because you eventually you're gonna go and install it right and then what we have here is uh, emulation stations uh, front end uh, website uh, what you're gonna do here is you're gonna download the as the the most up-to-date I guess uh, that you've got from uh, Android now it says here it was available on the Samsung Samsung Galaxy store so I imagine that they have fixed uh, the issue. They used to have it in a paywall. So we're going to go here and we're going to check real quick. Um, I, I, I don't see it on the App Store. So I imagine this might be uh, the Samsung Galaxy Store, which is different. Okay, so there it is. So actually, I think it's more expensive. If you go through their Patreon, it's actually cheaper. So I'd suggest you just go... Uh, through the patreon. I have a patreon. I think I just made it just for that as you can see I'm here uh, So you can just join 750 Canadian. Oh, we were looking at the Canadian price. So yeah, it's about the same uh, Not a big deal uh, a little bit like a dollar more expensive. So if you want a min max buy it off the uh, You don't buy it. You just go through patreon you become a member and then you have access to download it Anyways, you've downloaded your APK it's gonna look like this. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna throw that in, guess what? Your Android device. Pretty easy. I think that's all pretty self-explanatory. But the, the hard part comes with the fact that, well, you know, uh, SZ doesn't support these extra emulators. So I got these awesome GitHub page that is uh, updated pretty, pretty often. As you can see here, the last update was five weeks, five days ago. The systems was last week. Um, Look, they even have the Eden emulator. I think on my one of my videos, I had someone actually uh, talking about the Eden emulator for Android. So that's kind of like the newest thing. It's new. I haven't tried it yet, but the process would still be the same way. So you would download these two files, right? And then we'd go to the Android device and gonna open it up here, right? And then you would go to your files, you would go to uh, b -b 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 internal storage, as there, and then you would go to custom systems and you would throw the two files in there. With that, throwing those two files, yes, find rules and yes, systems, installing as there, installing Citron, it should work for you. It works for me, should work for you that same way. It's not very complicated. If you have it on an external drive, it would be the same thing. You would still throw the, on an external drive, I think it's a bit more complicated because some Android phones are locked and they can only read off the internal. Some Android phones don't even have an external drive anymore. Mine is internal. You get the idea. Uh, that's pretty much it. The rest is the same as like a, any normal as the installation. 
Uh, you'd have a ROM folder where you'd like put in all your all your games. Uh, and because Android is a bit universal, uh, all those custom files will work flawlessly without you really having to do anything um, as long as you kind of make it default. I have a folder here with some emulation files, the APK. See, I created a folder for just the APK. Uh, Citra, because you can't find any more. I got different uh, CPUs and uh, BIOS folder. So I have a, I have a couple different things. Um, so let's just start up as this so you guys can just see real quick that it works. And as you can see, uh, I have here, this is my switch. Uh, let's do Fire Emblem Engage. It's going to start up. And there you have it, guys. We have uh, Citron working on Android. I only have one emulator for Switch, which is Citron right now. So that's why it just defaults to uh, opening with uh, Citron. Uh, but yeah, I think the only thing I, I have to show you is just uh, um, actually is here. I think I do actually have more than one uh, emulator installed now that I remember. So you would go to other settings, alternative emulators, you would scroll down to the switch and yeah you would just pick Citron standalone and then that would do it. So that's it guys that's all I got. Um, that's uh, how you <laughs> install uh, the switch. Uh, the switch stuff for Android if you have any questions please feel free to ask. If you want to try this on Windows, I give you a guide on how to do it on Windows. Hey guys, that's it for today. I'm about to go camping, so I'll catch you guys on the next video. Next videos are probably going to be camping related and kind of adventure stuff, but yeah, that's beside the point anyways. Anyways guys, peace out. Bye.